Hi, this is Frank Becker, OSU Extension Office, Wayne County, Integrated Pest Management Program Coordinator. And I'm out here uh, in an orchard in northern Wayne County with uh, Tommy Becker, our IPM Pest Scout this year. And we're working on assembling some uh, coddling moth traps that we're putting out in an apple orchard. So I'm going to let Tommy kind of talk through um, some of the components of the traps that we're putting out. Okay, so when we go to hang traps, first we have to assemble them. So we have our bucket for these bucket traps and um, in this apple block in particular, we're trapping for coddling moth. So you can see it's labeled there. So we know which one it's for. And then what we'll put into the bucket is a kill strip so that the insects die in the bucket and they can't get out. Another thing to help keep the moths in the bucket is this funnel, which is also labeled for coddling moth. So we'll just put that funnel right in the bucket. Another thing that we have to kind of put together is the lid as this little piece of netting that we can stick our lure for the coddling moth into just like that. And then we just put the lid on the bucket and it's good to go. We just put a hanger on it and then it's ready to go on a tree. Okay. So we're out here uh, putting these traps out now that they're assembled. Um, Basically, when we come in into orchard, we want to try to get a good representation of the area. So we spread these traps out in an orchard block, kind of random. Um, try to avoid the end rows or you know edge effects. So when we come out in the orchard, we try to find uh, three locations pretty far apart from each other, um, just so we get a, a good sampling of what's out here in the orchard. And uh, to, to note off of Tommy's point, we want to make sure we're using the same traps year to year with you know the respective lures so coddling moth or oriental fruit moth because those lures kind of can impregnate the plastic with that scent um, so we want to make sure we're staying consistent and not uh, cross-contaminating our traps with other lure scents so now uh, Tommy's going to show you you know how we hang it in the tree um, and then uh, we'll go and talk about um, some of the the thresholds that we have and how our farmers use these trap counts to make management decisions. All right, so here we have our tree. We're gonna go ahead and hang up our bucket trap. And uh, we're gonna hang it up here, just so it's kind of in the tree. And then make sure it's secure. So then what we'll go ahead and do is take a piece of our marking tape. And we'll tie it onto a branch. something where we can come down the row and we can find the tree pretty easily that way we can find the trap quick and count our moths and then write it down so now that our traps up in the tree right there we'll be back next week and take a count so as we're walking through the orchards checking our traps we're also going to be scouting the trees and staging the apples so as we lock through um, we look at the leaves look for foliar diseases or pests. Um, and then throughout the season, we're also gonna be inspecting the fruit. So Tommy's gonna to show us right now um, a little bit about how to stage a fruit um, on the apple tree. And then uh, sh we'll show you a little bit about what he's, what he's talking about up close. All right, so we're gonna take this tree here and I'm gonna kind of walk you through what we'll do when we kind of check out the tree as we're scouting. So we'll come up and like, we might look at the end of a branch like this, kind of check the leaves look for insects or any other sorts of pests and diseases as well. And then the other thing we'll do is right here we have a cluster of apples. So we can use this to help stage uh, what part of development we're in for the tree. So up here we can see there's a few petals, but most of the petals have fallen off the tree. So we're a little bit past petal fall and just now getting into kind of the early stages of fruit development. So at this point in the year, we're really not picking up uh, too many coddling moth or anything in our orchard traps. So uh, no major updates today. Um, but in the future, when we when we come out and we start picking up more and more moths, um, we do have to be concerned with the threshold. And the threshold with coddling moths is three to five moths per trap per week in an orchard block. So once we set uh, the threshold, we set what's called a biofix. And basically once a biofix is set, we start counting growing degree days um, and figuring out when's the best time to treat uh, the trees 
um, with the insecticide to help manage those calling moth populations. So once um, we get orchards on the spray program, um, we continue to check our traps and watch for those populations to come back down. Um, and we do this uh, throughout the summer. And you know the orchard growers really appreciate having this uh, presence out in the orchard. Um, just helps them have an idea what's going on and help keep track of those pests um, and keep their spray programs efficient and well-timed. If you'd like to follow along with some of our trap counts and pest updates throughout the growing season, you can follow us at u.osu.edu backslash Wayne County IPM. You can get a hold of the extension office at 330-264-8722, or you can get a hold of me at becker.587 at osu.edu. Thanks. See you next time.